Are there things in your life, situations, people that you are not happy with any longer, but you still kind of tolerate them? If so, that's a sign that it's time to deepen into a practice of self-love. This is Krishanti with Krishanti.com. And self-love is something most of us need to work on at some point or another in our lives. And what's really interesting, as we go through life, we're always evolving and learning and growing. And at certain stages of our lives, we create things, we bring in, we buy things, we bring in people, we encounter or are immersed in situations that are right for us at that time. But as we continue to grow and develop, we tend to sometimes outgrow those things. But if we still hold on to them while we've outgrown them, they aren't really doing us a service. And sometimes hanging on to things that are actually becoming toxic for us, is a huge sign that it's time to work on self-love. And self-love means you don't have to put up with stuff that you know isn't good for you. And it's an acknowledgement that you can create situations and things and bring in people into your life that are good for you. So in this step to self-love, what I'm asking to do is just take a look around. You can start at the very basic level, which is around your home. Go to your closet. Are there clothes in there that you put on that you don't really like? Are there shirts in your closet that have rips in them or stains on them or things that just don't look good on you but you hang on to them? Why? Why not get rid of it? Donate it. Let it go. And then think about what you do want and bring that in. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. It doesn't have to be this big scary thing. It's just like, you know what? I don't love this. Bye and then go get what you do love. Or take time to not get anything and just relax into that. And when you're ready, start bringing in what you love. I find it's really easy to do this in the home, just do a purge and a clearing, because then that can start to translate over into your life, into situations like how many of us keep going to jobs that we really hate, that kill our souls, but we keep doing it because we're like, I have no other option. That's not really self-love. I mean, it's self-love as far as like, yes, you're doing what you need to do to get a roof over your head. But if a job is crushing you and it's really not good, but you're making yourself stay there, you gotta look at why, like what aspect do you think like you don't deserve to be in a place where they treat you well? You don't deserve to have a job you love? Of course you do. Of course you deserve that. So really think about that and then think about how you can move out of that type of situation and bring in one that is more beneficial to you. Sometimes all it takes is just the intention and then you start seeking it. Just start looking for those jobs. You start putting the word out. And then when it comes to people, that can be a doozy, but you know who the toxic people are and you know you can cut them out if you want to and a lot of you guys have and while i'm talking about this please comment below about all of this stuff like things you're working through um so important and so valuable all of you guys' insights it's you're helping everybody else who's watching this and reading the comments too and i love to read what you have to say also so um but uh, people's a whole big thing you could write a whole book about about that but um it's really important to bring people into your life that honor you and treat you well, and you deserve that too. So as an act of self-love, maybe start creating distance between people who you know aren't good for you and yourself. And then you can have a period of just nothing like without them before you start to bring in the new, or you can automatically at the same time start to reach out you know, go find new people, find new groups, find new friends and bring that into your life. It is possible. This is one of the steps to self-love that's a little more work. And I'm sorry I didn't say that at the beginning. This is like big time architectural infrastructure here of your life. But when you start to think about things in, in that way, like why am I 
using this broken utensil or why am I eating off of this chipped plate that I actually don't really like. Some people, maybe they don't mind that. That's fine if you don't mind it, but if it's something that kind of bothers you or signals that you're lesser than, um, let it go. Get a new plate. You know what I mean? Um, now at Krishanti.com, what I do is like, aside from this and, and working with people, is I create guided meditations and online courses. So if you'd like to move more into that aspect, please come check out krishandi.com. There's a lot of meditations. Um, the guided meditations are really beautiful energy healings too. And a lot of them do help with self-love. Um, so check that out. But otherwise, just try the practices in, in this video and see how that helps. It's really quite fun when you, you start to notice things shifting. So um, yeah, that about sums up for this one. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.